So this is a quick, how do you get on Edmodo? What do you do on Edmodo? Uh, and then um, what things are there? Uh, so if you're new to Edmodo, then you're going to click this I'm a student button. Uh, your teacher will give you a group code. Uh, it's probably up on the board. Uh, you'll make a username and a password. I would recommend using the same as it is to log on to the computers um, for the school. Uh, I, because the teachers have so many other usernames, I used my last name and then my first name. Uh, and then if it doesn't like that, it'll kick it back and say, no, you can't do that. And then you can just add a number to it. Uh, your password needs to be something very simple. Um, I would recommend it being your ID number because that's going to be something specific to you. Or making it uh, like your login for your personal email or even your Facebook account. It needs to be something you can remember. Uh, then your email is optional. I would recommend putting your school email here uh, because we will link them up with our Google portfolios just in case you need them. So this way I can at least know what it is. Not that I'm going to send you emails, but this way, if you're like, I forgot what my email was, then I can look it up for you. Uh, and then first and last name, if you are under the age of 13, we need to get you a permission slip for this. If you are 13 and older and your parent signs the tech part of your syllabus, then you can click this part and then you would do sign up. But I'm going to show you what happens if you already know how to get into Edmodo uh, because some of you may have forgotten some of your things. So this is my student page that I made uh, just so I could show you guys. These are the two groups that I'm in as of right now. However, when you get ready to enroll in classes through your eighth grade curriculum or even if you're in Mr. Trinos's class and you're watching this in seventh grade, uh, you'll click this little group button up here, the plus sign in the circle, and then you'll put your group code in there. Um, and then it'll show up over here. So if you have a bunch of classes, uh, you can pick which ones you want to view. Uh, like Miss Garza and myself are fairly active on Edmodo, but if you have a teacher that's not really active on Edmodo and they're using this as a platform to turn in assignments, uh, then you can come over here and click these little stars and if you click the star if you look to the um, groups over here it'll take that away so because I want science club to show up I'm going to click on science club uh, if you have archived groups like classes from last year so like this was a class that I was uh, enrolled in as a student last year to show the kids and um, this is where some of your things would be um, you can still click on it at least it let me do it the other day uh, and you can go retrieve assignments. So uh, your backpack, uh, we will need to set up folders for uh, different assignments and different activities. So because in science you will have to turn in things, um, we're going to come to folders and we're going to add a folder and then we're going to do science 2012, 2013. Yes. Yes? No. 13. Do I have 14? Or you can just do it science because most of you won't have multiple classes. And then you'll create this and then here is where you will actually turn things in. You can see last year this is how we science portfolio one and then the second class period. If you want to get rid of a folder, if you click on the little box, it'll show up a little trash can. You click trash can and it deletes it. It will delete everything from that backpack. So if you're unsure, you can go in and look. And these are the things that I would want to keep. So I'm not going to delete that. Uh, your turned in assignments will be over here on the navigation part on the right. I mean on the left, I'm sorry. Uh, if you've turned in a quiz or you've turned in... Um, a research paper or a PowerPoint or a Prezi or any, you know, a sketch even, it'll be in this when you click this turned in space. Your Google Drive is linked this year to Edmodo, so that will make it really easy, uh, especially if you work 
from home and you save things to a Google Drive or if you're in another class and you can save things to Google Drive um, either one of these either your folders or your Google Drive is going to be where you save items to work on later uh, your progress you can check if you've gotten um, the assignments that you've gotten over time and then your badges which are uh, like my little ways of like a tech-based high five essentially uh, you can change your profile here so when you took your took your how you learn quiz it'll be here um, activity that you've done like these are actual posts that you've made they'll be here uh, your calendar has moved around a little bit your planner is up on the right um, it's pretty simple there's nothing really going on uh, for this one but if you wanted to on Mondays when we put in our agenda if you wanted to put your things in here you can um, I may even assign somebody to do that on Friday when they're done with their quizzes so uh, the apps launcher um, some of the high school classes use these apps some of these have to p be paid for so I don't know if I would do them however these three that are here are ones that I've added to our class so if you would like to use them you can uh, if you need to change your profile uh, you want to look at come on computer you can do it so if you go to settings uh, it'll let you set up any kind of notifications so Um, and you can put in what kind of alerts you want so if you want a new if I send out an alert that something has been changed like a due date has been changed you can get that um, if there's a new quiz that's posted uh, direct messages and assignments those are probably the only four you would need to have um, if you're in a group especially pre-AP when we start doing our big assignment and you need replies to your post and you could check that. So I'm going to do a save. Oh. Save an update. Um, it'll send you a text message because mine is a Google Voice it's not going to work. Uh, so it'll send you a text number it's like a five or six digit number then you hit this activate button and you'll be in like Flynn. Um, if you need to reset your password, uh, you may do that from this point as well. Uh, if you have forgotten what your current password is, I can reset it from my um, tablet. Uh, you can upload a new photo from this point. I would say you need to keep it clean and keep it something that Mr. Baker or myself will not look at you oddly for. This is not a true expression of your ever love and what you please don't put like One Direction or some music player. This needs to be either a picture of something you like or one of the ones that's given to you because it will give you a couple of um, like templates to pull from. So notification center and then we're almost done. The notification center is where this little bell is and it says I only have one notification. So if there's a quiz that's needing to be taken, it will be here. Uh, you can also get notifications if I send out an alert to everybody, it will be here. So hopefully that helps you navigate Science Club. Sorry, uh, navigate Edmodo. Um, the parent code is specific to you, so if you scroll down, and like this one is this YF8, you can give that to your parent. Uh, it will be available on open house nights as well, so your parent can get that. So there you go. Hopefully that was informational enough. It took us almost nine minutes. I will see you in the halls.